Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. I have a few things to go over here before we get into today's World War I recipient story. This is episode number 410, and I have one birthday to go over, so we'll start with the birthday. It is looks like it's going to be tomorrow's birthday. Yes, today's the 12th. Tomorrow is May 13th, 1939. Thomas Kelly will be turning 82 years old. He is a former United States Navy captain that received the Medal of Honor for his actions during the Vietnam War. So a very happy birthday to Thomas Kelly tomorrow. Happy birthday. Next up, uh, I have two more things. One, I put out something on my Instagram and Facebook stories that I'd like to float to you all, you all, y'all. Um, I am considering having on some guest writers. So if you like the podcast and you like to write, specifically write a story like those that you hear on this podcast, please reach out to me. Uh, email talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. You can send a message through the website as well. Uh, I this would, this would allow the podcast to grow because, as you know, there are quite a few stories that have to be told. And at the rate I'm going, I still have, I probably have crested under the 30-year mark at this point to finish. So, but in order, in order for me to put out more than two a week, it's going to take a lot of my time away from my other business. So, uh, if you would like to consider being a guest writer, uh, this would allow me to record more often um, without the without the added burden of writing. It also gets somebody uh, who maybe wants some practice in writing or storytelling um, gets a little bit out there for you. So if this is something you might be interested, let me know. Maybe this is going to go nowhere. Maybe I keep doing two a week for the end of time. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe we can expand this, help it grow a little bit. You know, the podcast grows. Uh, it will not be a paid position because, well, uh, you see the way my bank account is set up. <laughs> so let me know if that's something you're interested in doing. Last but not least, as of today, actually, the Combat Flags podcast released episode 12, which features yours truly. So please go check out the Combat Flags podcast. I'll have a link in the show notes to the episode where I appeared and chatted with Dan from Combat Flags. I believe the podcast used to be called the Service Record Podcast, and he has since revamped it to the Combat Flags podcast. Uh, I had a great talk with him last year, and uh, it's a. I, I'm actually finishing up listening to myself this morning, um, remembering how good of a talk it was. So please go check out that episode and a bunch and the other previous uh, ten episodes plus the introductory episode of uh, the Combat Flags podcast. So link in the show notes for that episode. So a big thank you for Dan for having me on. That's all I have for today. Let's move on into episode number four hundred and ten. Philip was born on the 12th of December, 1889, in San Francisco, California, and while not much is known about his early life, it is known that he joined the U.S. Army, and he was a sergeant with the 363rd Infantry, 91st Division, when he deployed to Europe in support of World War I. His actions on the 26th of September, 1918, earned him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, After his company had withdrawn for a distance of 200 yards on a line with the units on its flanks, Sergeant Katz learned that one of his comrades had been left wounded in an exposed position at the point from which the withdrawal had taken place. Voluntarily crossing an area swept by heavy machine gun fire, he advanced to where the wounded soldier lay and carried him to a place of safety. Philip received the Medal of Honor on the 22nd of January, 1919, and was the only California native to receive the Medal of Honor during the war, and he continued to live in San Francisco. He was never married and was elected to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in 1923, where he served as public administrator for 27 years. He retired in 1953 and loved to travel and fly fish, and on the 29th of October, 1987, Philip Carl Katz died at the age of 97 and was the oldest living Medal of Honor recipient at the time. He is buried in the Cypress Lawn Memorial Park in Colma, California, Section C. And that was a tale of honor. 
Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Florus Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information. Thank you.